So we meet at last. Glad you made it. You kicked my dog. Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion for a plugin that you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles, the comments below for those new people. And uh, I will capture that and give you a shout out when I get to it. Like this week is brought to you by YOLO Swag Iskandar. And it's made by Champagon, and this is Crackshot. What it is, is it's a mod, or rather, it's a, a plugin that lets you run uh, guns in Minecraft without any kind of mods or anything like that. It's extremely configurable and very flexible, very cool. And he has a really good default layout for you guys if you want to get started. As you saw, it, it does work really well. It, it, by default, he has grenades and dual wielding and riot shields and C4 and melee and all that stuff. So what you want to do to get started, some of the commands in game is you just do shot. And you can do shot list and then you can do shot get and then whatever weapon that you want. So I'm going to try. This one's kind of fun. Airstrike. This is so cool. Just to show you guys some of the flexibility of this so i got an ak-47 and we could shoot and it hits me back we can even hit regular mobs so let's zoom in with that and then oh i gotta reload hunting rifle reload there we go bam and then i get the the sound of the, like a arrow hit when it hits and i think it's a single shot yep so let's respawn our uh our test dummy, I mean subject, and um, here we go. So this one's really fun. You just throw it in there, and then you gotta run away because this is about to kick off. So that marks where the airstrike's gonna happen, and then, oh my goodness, I still got hit. And yeah, that just shows you some of the flexibility of this plugin. It's very cool. So that's about all we have to go over in the game you can do uh, reload if you do shot reload and then if you are an admin and you need to reload the config you're gonna do shot config reload and then that will re reload if you spell reload right um, yeah so that's all we have for in-game command so by default the commit the permissions are kind of are open to all anybody can buy craft or use any weapon so if you want to reduce or remove what weapons they can use you want to be able to negate that so the way that you do that is crackshot.give.weapon um, or crackshot.get.weapon name or crackshot.use.weapon crackshot.craft.weapon crackshot.buy.weapon um, and then crackshot.shops.weapon that'll allow you to create or remove shops and then you have crack shot dot bypass dot weapon um, and that's pretty much all the permission nodes it kind of works on there by default it gives you know them access to all and then you just got to remove those by negating those permission nodes so that's all that we have in game let's hop over to the configuration file and show you guys how to set all of this up okay so here we are in our server build here so we're going to go into our plugins folder you put crack shot dot jar in there by def you know uh, boot up your server like any other plugin that you install go into crack shop and then we're going to take a look at general first so this one you can disable worlds uh, by default it's enabled for all worlds but basically you just make it look like that to disable it in any worlds then this next section will let you um, control how much of each weapon a person can have so there is a bazooka in there and uh, we're going to limit to one per person in the hot bar um, by default it's not on you can you can add those that's pretty much it for the configuration we're going to get into the the nuts and bolts here we close that we go into the weapons folder so now this is kind of where crack shot really works out of um 
I'm not really going to go over in detail every little thing that you can do in this. There's actually a very extensive wiki that the authors put together to explain every part of each weapon that you can set up. And just with the nature of this plugin being so huge and con, uh, configurable and customizable, I'm not going to go over it too much. First of all, one thing to note is you can put any YML file in here, uh, or you can name the YML files anything you want. So this is just the default loadout that he's you know, uh, put out. If you want, you can change these, or you can put all of them in the same YML file, or you can create new ones like rifles, YML, and pistols, YML, and set it up uh, for each one of those. It's, it doesn't really have any performance improvement if you do that. It's just more of like if for your own organization. So we're going to take a look at the default weapons YML. We're going to talk about this. So what this, this configuration file kind of works like this. The, it, each weapon, which is, this is your weapon name. And here's another weapon and here's another weapon so each weapon has what you can put in it modules and all the modules are optional and uh, there's no limit to how many modules that you can attach to each weapon so if you look at the website that is linked in the jibbles below or the description there it's going to have a list of all the modules that you can put onto each weapon to configure it to do what you want. So the first one is your item information. You have your item name. The yeah, item type is basically going to be the item ID, which there's a link in the description below or the jewels below for the item ID list of all the items that you can use. And then if you want to use like a some sort of a block that uses data. Um, you do uh, whatever the ID is and then a squiggly line or a tilde and then the the color. So like if you're doing, I don't know, I think that's teal or something like, I don't know. And then basically you have your item lore that, that uh, tells you uh, what it is when you hover over it. Um, the These lines, which is the, uh, if you hold shift and then hit the button right above your return, that is going to be a new line character. And then here's the sounds. Now, any kind of sounds, you know, sounds shoot, sounds reloading, sounds open, sounds close, all that stuff is it's going to be the first sound, which I'll put a link in the, the description for the list of all the sounds that you can use. And then the next section is the volume. So this can be, this is zero to one. Um, if it gets greater than one, that's uh, a range. So people will be able to hear it outside of that player and then your pitch is basically um is it going to be high or low so you that goes between zero and two and then your delay and ticks which this is zero um there's no delay in that okay so continuing on talking about the shooting module here this is another really common module this is going to have your damage in it um the type and how much each projectile is going to take and um, what kind of projectile it is. So here's how this works. First of all, let's talk about the damage. Each person has 10 hearts. Each heart is worth two. So a each single um, integer is worth half a heart. So this is actually six hearts. So a little bit over half the the life. So pretty much two shots and they're dead. All right, so for the projectile types, there's actually quite a few different settings for this. Energy is actually kind of like a shotgun method. So that is going to be a an expansion or like a, a pillar kind of thing. It's going to be set for that certain area. Um, and then you would set the range, the radius, the walls, and the victim in the subtype which i'll let you guys look that up a little bit more but there's a quite a few different types if we scroll down to the carbine or carbine or whatever you want to say if snowball snowball is really common basically it's going to act like a snowball and then this is the speed and then the damage and then how that's the bullet spread like um you know as you shoot like how inaccurate it gets that kind of stuff and then uh, deagle that's going to go like an egg 
it's just gonna have a little bit more of an arc and then um let me see if i can find one got projectile fireball which is gonna you know it's gonna act like a fireball go out there snowball a lot of you know the the snowball egg and arrow are actually the most common let me see if i can find an arrow one and the arrow one is actually a uh you want to set a remove arrow on impact setting as well in the module but it doesn't look like we have any examples to take a look at here so we're just going to keep going um and then you have your sounds and then it actually will it plays both two sounds that's what you can do you can put uh, both of these stack them on top of each other and then you have reload enabled and then the um, reload amount that's the maximum amount that the item will hold or the gun will hold um, and then because it's a shotgun we reload them individually you would put that to false like the carbine I think is false um, they don't they don't even have it set actually so then we got the reload duration that's how many uh, ticks it takes or pr that's probably seconds how many seconds it takes to reload completely and then you have the sounds of how it's uh, when it's reloading and then you have the firearm action you have quite a different options for this one you have the pump which if you if familiar with shotguns that's the reload um if you if you have a carbine you probably do slide which is like it locks open when it when it uh fires or or doesn't lock open um i'm pretty sure that's what you would do firearm action yep type slide close duration eight and then the the sound of that and that's basically the sound it would make when it's reloading um or open duration that's how long it's open close duration all that stuff sound when it opens sounds like closes closes which you you hear that when it it, it pumps um the other one is you have a a break which is like uh, or a revolver that's where you need to really pause and then reload each button individually and then you have bolt which in between every shot it's going to be like kind of a semi reload uh which would be like a bolt rifle um then you have your abilities and then you have your particles when you shoot so you see the the block break of a diamond block when you shoot and then when you hit somebody enabled f so hit events hit true and then you get the air the sound of an arrow shot when you hit somebody now these three modules are not actually in there by default i wanted to kind of play around with them now we have a region check true so basically what this does is you put in the world and coordinates so we got world and then the, the x y z for one and then x y z for two uh, for two edges of the cuboid and then um, you can either set it to a black list of true or a white list uh, by setting it false so if you set it to true that means that inside that area you cannot use this weapon and outside of that it, but if you hit it with false then only inside that area can you use the weapon and then this is the the message you would see and now uh, then I also decided I kind of like the, the sign shops so you can allow players to buy weapons from a sign so the way this works is we enabled it and then the price is I think that's diamonds two diamonds and then you set the sign id so the sign id can be a unique value between one and nine 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 it has to be a unique value per weapon because that will be what we put on the sign which i'll show you in a second and then you have a custom death message which has um you have quite a few different options you could put in here you can put the uh the shooter which is the person who shot it the victim um you have a damage and then a flight which is how far it flew and then you can use the regular color codes in here as well so that's about it for some of the custom things i wanted to show you guys so let's get in i'll show you guys how to make the sign and let's wrap this all up okay so here we are we got our 14 diamonds here actually i'm gonna hop out of creative mode we don't need to be in there and uh here's some of the other guns like uh we were talking about the ak has that uh got that snowball so that's what it looks like when it's going out and then I think we had a hunting rifle yeah and the type 95 I think that's yeah same thing so anyway getting into this 
So basically what you do is you put your sign up and you put a bracket CS bracket and then the gun ID. So we put a one for that shotgun. I think the 95 is actually set up as well. And I think that one is like six gold ingots, but we're just going to use a shotgun. And you can put whatever the heck you want on lines two, three, and four. So you can just say Gaz shotgun. You can do color codes if you want, if you have that option in your signs. You can, like I said, you can do anything you want. So two diamonds buy here or something. I don't know. Buy here. So there we go. Store successfully created. So then if we right click on it or left click on it I mean you see that we went down two diamonds and then you you have your shotgun so that's all I got for this plugin like I said I did I didn't go over a lot of stuff with this one because there's just it's there's a lot of and I just felt like I needed to talk about a few basic things for you um, be sure to check out the website it has an explanation of all the modules that you can put on every weapon and um you can use that to really create some awesome weapons, some custom weapons, and set up your own sign shops so people, players can buy them. You can make it so that they automatically find those weapons in the wild if you want. Um, there's some crazy stuff out there in that configuration that you can do. And um, I feel like I just scratched the surface, but I can't really go much longer into depth of it. So hopefully you guys found that helpful and uh, you guys have some fun with that plugin. So. That is all I got for you guys this week. So this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. <laughs> On your next death. <laughs> Time to go back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good because I was running. I'm starving right now, so...